All right, let's get started. Look right over here. Right there. This is your brain. <laughs> this is your left brain. And this is your right brain. Everything we are doing with Karaoke ESL is based on a couple of assumptions. First of all, that spoken English is a skill, not an academic logic pursuit. And number two, an important thing, is that a fun thing, a thing that is right brain centric, will get us where we need to be faster. Our left brain is like a vast computer. As a matter of fact, one of these little rooms in here is where our vocabulary is at. Our left brain is very linear in nature, and it likes to do one thing at a time. It doesn't multitask very well. It is very focused. It looks at one thing at a time, and it wants to understand and use logic to process the world. Our left brain is only one half of our brain. But through academics and through much of our life and our adult life, we have placed most of our value on the left brain. Our right brain is our ideas. It is where our heart is at, where our the real person is at. The left brain is really a machine. The right brain is where we live and where we find meaning and find experiences and understand the big picture. The right brain does not care whether something is true or false, what colors are, what words you use to describe. It does not say true or false. It accepts everything. It also happens to have a part in there that is our language center. And that is where we process spoken languages. As a matter of fact, it's been discovered that there are several of these for each of the languages we learn. When we speak fluently, our right brain is given direct access to our ears and somewhere down here to our mouth so that we can speak. The problem is, is that the right brain does not have a chance to exercise and to be in control. So that's what we're developing. We want to prevent the left brain having all the control. It might have ways to block us from accessing our speech center. So we have to develop skills and the ability to circumvent or get around the left brain to be able to develop a fluency and the ability to speak naturally. That is what we're going to be looking at now, treating spoken language as a skill, like learning to ride a bike, like learning to play tennis, um, and in a way even like playing an instrument. It's about coordination and um, having the ability to experience things. You cannot study the physics of a bicycle and become a good writer. You cannot listen and watch someone your whole life playing tennis and become a good tennis player. You must practice, and you need to practice well, and you need to develop good techniques and probably have a coach. You do not spend all day with the coach. You spend certain amount of time with your coach to learn techniques and skills. That is what we're going to be talking about in the next phase. The techniques that we can use to overcome our left brain dominance and become a fluent speaker, a skillful speaker with good motor control of our mouth. Okay, I'll see you in the next video. I'll let you say goodbye to me first. Bye-bye.